Glenn has been absent from the car shows and cruise nights for quite a while, but it's good to have him back. He's had his 1965 Olds 442 completely rebuilt from the ground up. No expense has been spared, and it shows. Here is the car's story from Glenn. Uh, it's an original 442 400 four-speed air car. And uh, 65, most cars in Canada did not have air unless you were a rich Cadillac guy. Uh, situation is because it went to Houston, Texas, a lot of Houston cars had air. From there, it went in the early 90s, it went to Florida. And I purchased it about 10 years ago and uh, brought it in from uh, Florida to Windsor. It has been a few years since seeing this car in its original state, but Glenn wanted to make it even better. Well, the situation is it's one of those uh, labors of love, as they always say. The uh, situation is I started collecting parts probably about uh, four years ago, and then uh, we found a frame. Uh, the car is actually, uh, as you can see, it's a two-door post. The posts were the strongest cars. They were usually the drag cars. But what we wanted to do was just strengthen the frame without spending, you know, $18,000 with a Swartz, per Swartz Performance frame or somebody like that. So we got a convertible frame out of a Buick GS 400. And uh, situation is so it's a totally strong boxed frame. Perhaps the first thing you notice about this 442 is the glistening paint that really sets it off. Uh, the paint, what you're seeing in the sunlight tonight is, uh, and this is where it, everybody says, well, what is it, a brandy red? Is it a candy red? Uh, what it is, is what you're seeing is it's got three coats of copper under it. So once all the body work was done, uh, Aaron at the shop uh, said, listen, we need to make this pop. So what he did is he put three coats of copper penny under it, then it's got three or four coats of uh, candy apple red, and then it's got about four or five coats of clear. So what you're seeing is the copper that's coming through the red. Most people use silver or black, and it just doesn't give it the jump. This is not a budget paint job. The engine in Glenn's car is not only beautiful to look at, it's also powerful. You may be surprised to learn that this is a multi-source power plant. Glenn explains. Okay, what we did is we tried to make the uh, motor look like the original 400. So it's uh, actually uh, an LS 6 liter. It's actually out of a catering truck. It's a, it's a steel block, it's a cast iron block. It's got the aluminum GTO heads on it from a 2006 GTO. It's got uh, fast fuel injection and we put the manifold and everything on it to make it look like the old Oldsmobile. Most of the LS's you see the coil packs up top and you see the big long fuel injection snout. Well, we changed all that and uh, it's, it's done a pretty good job of uh, fooling some of the Oldsmobile people. You may also be surprised to see the absolutely uncluttered firewall. That's because all the stuff normally mounted there is stashed someplace else. Here's a little history on the 442. This was the first year of the 400 in the Oldsmobile 442. The original 64 uh, had only a 330, but you could only get a four-speed in the original 64 car. You couldn't get an automatic. This year you could get the automatic. So 442 in 1965 stood for 400 cubic inches, four barrel, and dual exhaust, because you could get an automatic. Whereas in 64, it meant four-speed because you could only get a four-speed. As mentioned, this was a complete rebuild, and that included, among a great many other things, the transmission. This was an original four-speed car, but it's been upgraded to a TKO 600 five-speed now. The interior is absolutely beautiful. Okay, the interior there again, uh, when you looked at the old seats, everybody thought the bucket seats were comfortable, but there was no support. So we took uh, 2010 Camaro bucket seats, uh, because you wanted something that, of course, being a two-door, you wanted to be able to lean the, the uh, seat forward. So we had to pick something like the Camaro. We had them all reupholstered, redone, and uh, the rest of the interior has been done in, um, it's a pecan leather with uh, a suede insert. And uh, we also have done uh, Dakota Digital gauges. It's got vintage air. It's got a push button start. So the old days of having a key in the dash is gone. It's strictly push button. So you don't need to have a key to put it on. As long as the key is in your pocket, uh, the car will start just like a 2018 truck. Let's look down where the rubber meets the road. The wheels are uh, 
made by Budnick out of California. It's a Budnick wheel. There are 18s on the front, 19s on the back, and they have uh, Toyo tires with uh, red lines from Diamondback Classics out of, uh, out of Mississippi. This was a professional job by JH Restorations on Walker Road in Windsor. As mentioned, not a low budget overhaul. And this Olds has been looked over by much sharper eyes than mine. Um, we were very fortunate. The car was built. It went to uh, SEMA in, 2008, in 2017. Um, number of accolades there. Ant and Mike from Wheeler Dealer chose the Olds 442 as their car, their pick of the show. And we were actually on SEMA Live on Thursday night at Vegas, in Vegas. Um, we took it to Detroit Autorama where we won first place in uh, our class. Uh, we were also very fortunate. Uh, we won first place in the Toronto Motorama. And then we were uh, in the top 10 in uh, London at their uh, car show this spring. That's an inside look at Glenn's 1965 Olds 442. You know, it's all part of the, the part of the journey. Thank you for viewing. I hope you enjoyed. And so long from the Manning Road Cruise. And as always, we'll see you at the Car Shows and Cruise Nights.